Welcome to the Abacos, a tiny chain of islands at the northern edge of the Bahamas. Come closer, let's taste the life and touch the sky, yeah, till it's over, over. In a minute we're so We've been in the Bahamas for about two weeks now, and I gotta say, this might be the first time that we've actually picked up the camera to film what's been going on. It hasn't been bad, it's just, and maybe it's been stressful. I don't really know the right word for it. It's just been a lot. So picking up the camera hasn't been top of mind in the last two weeks, but maybe that's because one of us fell out of the dinghy with her backpack full of gear and ruined a computer. Maybe that's because the other one of us managed to misjudge how much cash we needed and so we ran out and have been bartering and trading all over town to get things we need. And maybe that's just because the winds have been crazy, swirling around. We've been moving the boat every single day in order to get us in a nice calm anchorage. Whatever the reason, it's a new year, or at least it will be by the time that this goes live. And so we resolve to bring you guys along with us on all of the adventures, whether we're ready for it or not, it's time for you guys to see what it's really like to have full-time jobs, to be in the Bahamas, and to live on a sailboat. Let's do it. Before we bought Leviosa, we never sailed a vessel with a dual sheet main. And it's taken us a while to get comfortable with it. Now we need to flake the halyard. <sighs> I'll let you do it. As we move around the islands, we're taking every opportunity to get more confident with our sail plan. We had the halyard wrapped around uh, a cleat so it wouldn't go up in the middle of the night. We had to uncleat it. So we're gonna turn into the wind and then just use the engines to stay there without going forward. Conceptually, everything is the same as a main sheet and traveler system. But we found that, in practice, the devil is in the details. So we take every chance to hoist the main and trim the sails, looking for telltale signs that we've got it just right.
On our first few attempts, we were lucky to get five knots of speed. Over time, we've learned and adapted and are so proud when we see a full sail carrying us to our destination at seven and a half knots and find ourselves wondering just how much more she has to give. The uh, wind today is about 14 knots. We're on a broad reach right now. Uh, so it's about 12 knots apparent. Right now we're going 6.3 knots, which is pretty good. We just got checked into the marina at the Green Turtle Club and Resort, which is on the north side of Green Turtle Key. Uh, we're going to be here for a couple days because the wind's supposed to be 25 to 30 knots and swirling for the next three or four days. And uh, one of those things when you have a job is just it's not really worth moving the boat two, for two or three hours every single day. Uh, so we're going to be here for a couple days. We're going to get settled in. So it'll be nice after two weeks of kind of moving the boat all the time to just relax. Oh yeah, one more thing. To get in here, it was like 18 knots of wind blowing diagonally onto the dock. We had to creep around a pylon and I handled it like a champ. I actually felt like I knew what I was doing for the, probably the first time when docking. Um, and that was, that was really nice. So getting a little bit better. Arriving in White Sound on Green Turtle K has been a revelation on just how disparate the effects of a storm can be. While there is evident construction here, the resort and surrounding areas are complete, whole, in a word, livable. While less than two miles away, the southwest side of the island in New Plymouth, the efforts to rebuild are evident around every corner. Life has not stopped in the midst of restoration. Instead, the effort has become a part of the daily routine. The community is powering ahead and making the best of the aftermath of the storm. Each person you meet has a story to how their life was changed by Dorian. Where they were at the time or what they saw when they returned to their home and businesses. I know this island doesn't look like what it used to, and it will be years until it returns to the idyllic town described in the travel books or reviews prior to 2020 but I wouldn't trade being here now for anything in the world. The people here show amazing kindness, spirit, and resilience. They remind me of the person I want to be. They inspire me to do better, try harder, live louder. Make no mistake, the Abacos our life.
after seeing everything we saw today, we are on the lookout for ways that we can help rebuild or lend our services to uh, the island. So if you are aware of an organization, please put it in the comments below because we are gonna be on the lookout. But today, I think the best thing we can do is patronize a, an establishment. So we're gonna go get a drink and do just that. That was so cool. The bartender just took a whole bunch of time to explain to us what we, I guess, all missed out on today. Today's Boxing Day, and normally on Boxing Day here, they have this huge parade in the street called Jean Canoe. Jean Canoe. I'll put it on the screen. And it's basically this huge parade that they have in the streets where everyone gets decked out in these massive costumes and she plays music and parties in the streets and they're not doing it this year, of course, because of COVID. So I am sad that I missed it because it seems like such a cool cultural event. She was like super excited talking about it too. And I think the only reason she talked about it is because we ordered a Click, which is a local Bahamian beer. And it is named after the sound of two cowbells ringing together, which bring it back around is one of the instruments they play during this huge festival. So little education for you in a bar. Cheers. Just ordered up two Tipsy Turtles, which is apparently one of the best rum yeah, drinks. It wins awards. Yeah. Best, yeah. best rum punch in the Caribbean. It's what they're known for here. Uh, literally, apparently, everyone drinks them, and they're delicious.